Aspirin is already known as a wonder drug for heart disease, but data released tonight suggests it might even be a lifesaver for cancer, too. In a study of over 25,000 people in the British journal Lancet, the number of deaths from cancer was lowered by 21 percent in those who took low-dose aspirin for at least five years. We were surprised, I think, by the extent to which it does appear to reduce the death rate, yeah. The numbers over the long term were even more striking. The risk of death after 20 years was reduced by about 10 percent for prostate cancer, 30 percent for lung cancer, 40 percent for colorectal cancer, and 6 60% for esophageal cancer, which raises the question, should everyone take low-dose aspirin? Today, the American Cancer Society said no, and that, quote, it would be premature to recommend people start taking aspirin specifically to prevent cancer. That's because even low-dose aspirin can lead to dangerous internal bleeding. Still, evidence that it might help fight cancer is intriguing for doctors. It's consistent with the hypothesis that an anti-inflammatory agent can prevent cancer. And it is not the only evidence, but it's probably the largest body of evidence available so far. Since this study didn't show why aspirin reduced deaths from so many types of cancer, more research still needs to be done, Harry. So interesting, because the American Cancer Society adamant that people don't go out and start taking aspirin. Why? Well, like any medication, Harry, there are risks and there could be side effects. So in general, people who should not take aspirin are those who have an allergy to aspirin, are prone to bleeding, already on blood thinners, or have liver or stomach problems. They should talk to their doctors. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks.